guys welcome back to my channel okay so today's look is a um, fall inspired look for October um, this is a collaboration video as well um, for the video for this look before I talk about the collaboration before I forget uh, I use the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and if you guys don't have it make sure you go check it out from Too Faced absolutely love it you can do pretty much any neutral, nude, deep, dark, whatever look you want to do using this palette. It is absolutely phenomenal. And if you have it, make sure you take it out if you want to follow along with this tutorial. Okay, so I'm doing the collab with um, Turtle Loves Beauty on YouTube. And I actually found her, we found each other on Facebook, believe it or not. It's so funny. And she reached out to me and we kind of started conversing through um, the little, you know, direct message thing on Facebook. And so yeah, so her name is Turtle Loves Beauty, but it's Turtle Loves Beauty on YouTube. And she's gonna be doing a fall look as well. If I get her information and she gives me her look, I will input it in the video right here so you guys can see her look as well. Um, if you guys Um, if you guys want to see this look and how I achieved this uh, fall smoky eye with a little bit of pop of color shimmer in the middle and a very berry um, lip on the lipstick, I actually um, just picked this up. Well, I just got it really. It's Myrrh. I want to say it's Myrrh, M E H R, lipstick from MAC. I also swatched it on the back of my hand. I use, I want to say either Courant lip pencil. Yeah, this has to be Courant. It's all, the word is wiped off or whatever but anyway if you want to see how I achieved this look I kept uh, because the eyes were so um, like a muted smoky eye with a little pop of color and the lips are very dark I kind of kept the face uh, neutral on the cheeks and you know I don't ever put uh, rarely do I ever put a uh, highlight into my forehead but yeah so if you're interested in how I achieved this look please stay tuned I hope you guys have a wonderful week I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video and yeah keep on watching Okay guys, so let's get started. I've already put NC35 uh, on my brow bone and makeup prepper is kind of right on my lid. The first color I'm going to go in with is Salted Caramel. I'm going to use Salted Caramel as my transition color and I'm going in with an Ink Glot 6SS brush. I got to do all this from memory so bear with me. <laughs> the next color I'm going in with is uh, the Chocolate Bars Milk Chocolate. And all these colors are from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So I'm going in with Milk Chocolate. I'm using the same uh, Inklot 6S brush. And you guys know Chrissy P had the new technique where if you kind of invert your brush, it'll do the blending for you. So that's what I'm doing here. The next color I'm going in with is Semi Sweet. Semi Sweet, and I'm gonna also take that into the crease as well. And what I'm doing is I just want a very nice, soft, smoky eye so I'm taking all of these three colors and kind of layering uh, the smoky effect in the crease starting with the salted caramel then the milk chocolate and then the semi-sweet and all of those are varying degrees of brown the next color I'm going to go in with is NARS's coconut grove you guys know I absolutely love 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 this color if you do not have it please consider checking it out um, it's a very deep rich chocolatey color it is Oh, so beautiful and I'm putting that in the V but I'm also bringing it across the eye so that we're actually creating a bridge between the inner and outer corner corners of the eye and kind of creating that I'm going back in with that NARS coconut grove but I'm changing brushes now I'm going to be using a MAC 217 brush and I'm really going to deepen up the crease right here using the 217 for the 217 you're going to deposit uh, have a more concentrated color deposited on your eye. Next I'm going to go in with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark and I'm using that as my brow bone highlight and I'm just putting that into the highest, top, highest tip of my brow bone and blending down. Then I'm going to go back in with the Salted Caramel, um, the Ink Lot 6 SS brush and I'm going to just make sure that my crease and brow bone area where those colors meet is blended. So that's what I'm doing right there. Um, and just make sure you guys blend and get the until you get the color payoff you want. The next I'm going in with, next color I'm going in with is Max Woodwinked eyeshadow on the lid, and I'm placing that into the center 
of my lid with the um, MAC 252 flat shader brush. It's a big uh, flat shader brush. If you don't have it, consider checking that out as well. I actually love that brush. I have like two or three of them. I'm going in again with the 217, but I did not add any product on the brush. I'm just using it to just blend the, um, blend the eye. I'm gonna go in with a makeup wipe and I'm gonna just create a defined line on the outside of each eye. And you can do this uh, or you can um, use tape. Today I didn't use tape, I just used the wipe. So yeah. So here I've gone in with wing liner. Y'all know me and the wing liner, but yep, there it is. I hardly ever use it, but here we go. I also have some custom made lashes. If you wanna know which lashes those are, please check out the description bar. But yeah, so next I'm going in with a little bit of nano gold. I'm gonna place nano gold in the tear duct area. And also, I wanted to pop a little bit of that in the brow bone area just to give it a little bit of a shimmer to it. Not too much, just a little bit. Um, for this color, it's the same color. It's still nano gold, and I'm going in with my tear duct and just swinging it a little bit over into the lower lash line. Just a little bit, not, not far. Just a little bit. Next, I'm going to be taking Makeup Forever's Aquatic, Aquata, oh, excuse me, Aquamatic. Lord, help me. <laughs> Aquamatic. And I'm going to run that through my lower water line. Lower water line. I'm not going to take this down to my lash line. Not a lot. I just put it on my lower water line to get that um, to close of my eye here. And then I'm just, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right there. Probably listening to music. But anyway, I'm going to go back in with the semi sweep. And I'm going to take that semi sweep and I'm going to run it through my lower lash line with a pencil brush. I think that's the 15S from Makeup Forever. And I'm just running that through my lower lash line and just blending that in with the Aquamatic. Next, I'm going to go in with Shadester and Blunt. Uh, I really just wanted a nice fall look. So the cheeks, I'm not going in too ham. Not, not too ham, but yeah. I'm going to go in with Benefit's One Hot Minute Bronzer. And I'm taking that on my NARS Yakio brush. I hope I say that right. And I'm going to also top that with just a teeny little bit of Albatross. Now, I think I've been doing good with my blush and highlight lately, you guys. I don't know. Because <laughs> y'all know I can go crazy. Here, I'm just spraying a little bit of mineralized charge water. Y'all know I mix a little bit of vanilla pigment with that. For the lips, I'm going in with a berry color. Yes, this happens to be my first fall lippy, I think, dark lip color. I think. Um, lining my lips with Courant Lip Pencil. And I'm going to be using a color called Mer, M-E-H-R from MAC there I'm swatching it for you it is such a pretty matte creamy color I really really love this lipstick it is also a part of the permanent line just came out new from MAC a couple collections ago please make sure you check it out if you haven't already and here I am going slow mo yes yes slow mo y'all know I appreciate you please have a wonderful week have a wonderful weekend hopefully I will see you guys in the next video please check out my girl Miss Turtle loves beauty and yeah bye